Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to Hanging with Nikki. Look what we're working with today, guys. Today I have a taste for a cucumber salad. All right, so I'm going to show you everything I'm going to put in it. Candy Danny Cucumber, Mr. Cucumber. A nice tomato. My favorite onion is a red onion. Also like a nice white onion too, sweet. Some apple cider vinegar. And some blue aguave organic low glycemic sweetener for the diabetics in the house, guys. That's right. So we're gonna make us a little fresh salad. Um, no lettuce involved. You can add it if you want, but this is like a little side relish, if you will. My family used to make this all the time. So I had a taste for it. And also I'm thinking about doing tacos today. I know on the haul, I showed y'all before I had brought these. Still have not made them. Okay, it's time to eat these. So that might go with my tacos today. But yep, that's what we're gonna have. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is well and swell. I am. So I'm cutting the ends off. I washed this cucumber really good. So it's already been pre-washed. And I kind of like mine thin. I think the thinner the better. Seasoning gets in better. And um, so if you want to see me cut it. Come right along. Yep, cut me up a little cucumber. I wanted something fresh, and this is a good go-to for fresh. Some people don't like onions. I do. Uh, onion is good for lower, lowering your blood pressure, and um, it helps with digestion too. I mean, but I guess if your system doesn't like it, just doesn't like it. I understand. And in that case, I would just add um, some onion powder. It will still create that flavor for you. Yep. So, like I said, with this, I think I'm going to have some tacos. And also, guys, this salad, is it tastes better when you refrigerate it. So if you could let it um, cool off, well, get cool for at least an hour, it will taste even better. Let those seasons marinate. But yeah, this is a nice lip-popping salad, a little relish. And it's so fresh. Yep. And I know you've heard before, if you haven't, go back and watch my video about living with diabetes. I have type 1 diabetes. Um, and I'm on medication for it. And I make sure I check my blood glucose sugar every morning. I fast overnight before I eat anything. I'll go ahead and check it, get it out of the way, see how I'm doing. I've been doing very well, but you have to check it to know. You know, you can't just pray and hope, you know, for the best unless you're eating better. You're exercising, you're drinking water, you know, but if you know you slip and miss sometimes or you need the extra help, take the medicine. You know, I don't want to be on it forever. And my goal is not to. But I still take it. So it won't keep damaging my body. You know. But anyway, enough about that. I hope y'all are doing very well. Yeah, we have like a couple more days before the New Year's here. I know y'all are setting goals and making resolutions. Yes, I did take the skin off. I don't like the skin of the tomato, okay? Sometimes I take this off too. Take this out, the little jelly part. To me, um, it just tastes better. It looks better without all that in it. 
If you love tomatoes like that, go ahead and keep yours in there, but I like tomato, but not like that. Okay, I'm trying to do better. So I will eat, eat it, but I eat it my way. Okay, so I'm going to take the skin off. Yeah, but like I said, I know you're making resolutions or setting goals. So tell me about some of your goals. We all want to live a healthier life because, you know, health is wealth. That's the new saying these days. Your health is your wealth. And it's great. And I believe it, you know, because if you have all the money in the world, but your health is not great or not the best, you don't care about the money. You care about feeling well. So I want to see how it feels to be healthy and wealthy. What about y'all? <laughs> I don't think that's asking too much. It's just uh, for us to apply ourselves to make sure we can reach those goals. Yeah, I want that kind of lifestyle. And I want to help encourage others as I'm trying to get there or maintain it as well. So if you have any recipes or you know of any little um, fresh salads or relishes that you think I would like, comment below, share it. Sharing is caring. Yes, it is. Because of the amount of um, cucumber I have, I'm going to add this last little bit of tomato and I know my knife skills aren't the best but I'm not up here for that <laughs> I am a little home cook guys this is what I do I like cooking for me and my family I like sharing with others you know I get a feedback that my food is liked by others so I said okay let me share my knowledge, see if anybody's interested. And if you are, please come back. Come back and hang with your girl. There's no rhyme to, or rhythm in how you can cut it up. You cut it up how you want to eat it. I normally cut it up in bite-sized pieces. Yep. Because I want some of everything to be marinated well. That's why I cut the cucumbers up kind of thin because to me, when it's thinner, it marinates better. You have the flavor of everything and everything gets flavored well and at the same time. When I tell you it's lip popping good, once you put that vinegar in there and that agave sweetener, or if you wanted to use honey, Guys, I'm telling you, you're going to be popping and smacking them lips. Like, okay, this is a nice little snack. Yes, it is a nice little snack. I'm thinking of what I could do with celery. Because I have some celery left over from the holidays. And I don't want to sit there and go bad. So I'm going to think of something... That's also good to do with it. If you know of anything, let Nikki know. Let Nikki know. Or if you have a page and you've already done it, comment below so I can go look at you and shout you out for the good things you're doing for the people. All right, so here's a red onion. I already had a red onion kind of cut up because I use onions a lot. Like I said, I like onions. I like a cook. I like a raw. Like on a good um, hot dog or sausage, kielbasa or something. I just like them in general. You know, I put them in my greens, um, my salads, my fresh salads. So, yep. I have my good days and bad days, as we all do, as far as, far as eating. Sometimes we could eat good, then the next day we're like, I got to have that burger. Or I want to taste a piece of fried chicken. And we go ahead and satisfy those taste buds. 
And um, but instead of feeling bad and continuing to do what you know you shouldn't do to your body, next meal you eat, make it better. Say, okay, I satisfied that taste, that craving, I'm good. So I'm going to keep putting this good stuff in because I want to live longer. I love me. I value me. I'm grateful and thankful for my body, my mind, my soul, my spirit. I love me. My family loves me. So just good vibes all around. All right. So I'm not going to put white onion in it because, like I said, I had some onions that were previously cut. So I'm going to add this mixture. Yeah, get it all in your food, guys. It's your food. It's your family. Play with it. Enjoy it. Life is too short being petty. I don't have any OCD stuff. I kind of do, but not when it comes to this. <laughs> I think we all do to a certain degree. Have stuff we like and don't like that gets on our nerves. But in this situation, it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. And it's going to taste good, too. I want everything out of here. Come on out of here. These corners. All right, that's it. Doesn't it look great so far? The colors. Yes. Those red onions. Along with the red juicy tomato and the nice slivered cup cut cucumbers. It's festive. It's a little party going on. A little party going on. Just a little party going on. All right. So next, guys, we have to add some apple cider vinegar. This is the joint rating. Everybody is on, well, a lot of people are on the apple cider vinegar kick. Like I said, vinegar is good for you as well as onions. Um, look it up. Look it up. I think that was like a half a cup. Like, look, here it is right here. I could have used it, but oh well. Um, Yeah, I think it was like a half cup. So I'm going to mix that well. And you know what you like. I don't know if you like vinegar, but apple cider vinegar is one of the best. It's so fragrant. It's rich now, but it's going to fight off some things in your body that maybe you don't need to be, you didn't know needed to be fought, but it's good tasting as well. And for the final kicker, we're going to add some of this low glycemic sweetener because I'm a diabetic type one. I am keeping account of my blood sugars. Now, I think this is about two tablespoons, or one good tablespoon. Sorry about that. But um, I'm going to taste it once I mix it up well, and I'm going to see if it's to my liking. Mm, it smells great, guys. This is a nice little snack. When you want to be healthy, you just want something that's good. To me, this takes the place of chips. Because I am a chip eater. I love me a good salty chip. And I can't have them all the time because it's just not good for you. You know, it blows you up, that sodium. So I have to drink a lot of water, you know, to get that sodium out of my body, flush my body well. Looks great. I love it. Nice and juicy. So let's give it a taste. Let y'all see me. Hey. <laughs> All right. So like I said, I want some cucumber. I want some tomato and onion. Try them all at the same time. Look how juicy it is. Mm. 
Mm-mm-mm. That vinegar. Woo! Make you pop your mouth, guys. I need a little more sweetener. And so I'm gonna add a little more sweetener. Like I said, is you sweeten it to your tasting? This is a great little snack. Guilt-free, healthy. And it makes you pop your mouth. So you know you got something good when you got to pop your mouth. So let's go in again. Mm. Great. Okay. That's what's on. I'm going to put my top on it. Shout out to Dollar Tree. They have the cutest little container. <laughs> you can find everything. That's a one-stop shop. So, taco time. Yep. So, guys, thank you for hanging with Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you guys have a great day. Yeah, I'm going to do some um, wig tutorials, too. Because my daughters are always saying, Ma, you need some more hairstyles. I have natural hair under here. But um, that's just as hard working with it, too. So you guys stay tuned. Like I said, if you have more um, ideas on eating healthier, smarter, good little snacks, let, let a girl know, you know. Hang with me, I'll hang with you. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.